All right, YouTube, we're gonna talk about removing foam from the Go Devil. I've only seen a couple of posts on the internet um, and I haven't really seen a video talking too much about it. I've seen some other random foam videos of other boats, but uh, this one's gonna be specific, I guess, to mud boats or aluminum welded hulls. First and foremost, uh, it's very, very well worth doing, especially for the floor. These floor pieces, uh, weighed actually this is a nose piece but these four pieces right here they weighed at least 10 pounds each there was eight of them um, I have a feeling I only weighed one and I have a feeling a couple of them were heavier so like there could have been a hundred pounds just on the floor in the front section the rear section didn't have foam I'm guessing someone else removed that by the way this is my boat the Shah Dynasty um, and she's awesome now getting just to the crux of things I don't want to make this a long video um, I obviously cut out the, this section was welded in. I used the angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, finished it off with the Sawzall. Then I was using the Sawzall to cut the foam, um, and prying it out with the pry bar. Would end up being a lot faster instead of getting these small little chunks. It was very difficult to do. Um, I went to the chainsaw with a 20 inch bar and a felling bar to pry out larger chunks. That's how I was able to get, you know, nice big chunks like this out. Um, and it worked amazing. I would highly, highly recommend using chainsaw. What I would also say about that is you need to be careful. You can touch the sides. And if you touch the sides, they will, the chainsaw will cut the aluminum. That's more of a scrape. It looks worse than it is. This one is actually a little bit more deep than I want. But I did order a welder today. It's got a dual pulse mag welder coming. I'm going to weld those back up after I practice, obviously. And uh, I want to fab up an encasement for this. So the other thing I'm doing is I'm leaving in probably at least, I'm going to say about half, 50% of the foam that was in there. Um, I'm leaving the foam between this section. So I've cut this. That was the chainsaw that cut that. Uh, nice and square and then I finished it off with the handsaw same with the back I used that handsaw with two hands and you can actually shave I can't really get both hands in here but you can kind of do this I don't know if that's working and shave it down shave it up and get it pretty flat um, that's about here that 20 inch bar was pretty much perfect to get this top section and then I squared it off there. So from about here, all forward is still 100% foam. I feel like that's enough flotation. I'm hoping to fit a tote or something along those lines in here, maybe a couple small boxes that are waterproof. And they'll, they'll also act as flotation. I'll probably strap them in somehow or figure some kind of system. Worst case scenario, that section is still has lots of air in it. And I believe it will provide enough flotation to get you out of a... A shitty spot i'm also going to put in a, a bilge pump <clears throat> just in case of uh in case something bad happens the other thing i'm doing is i've decided to drill holes in the bottom of the foam it's not 100 dry the bottom the bottom layer about this much more so on this side i feel like than that side uh i know the that i think this this one here is relatively dry I'm drilling those holes in hopes that it dries out a little bit faster. I think it might, I'm not sure it will. Some people might say it's a bad idea, whatever I'm doing it. What I'm using to do that is, shit, where'd that thing go? I got this drill bit a little while ago. I was doing something with it. And uh, I'm drilling that out by hand because I don't want that touching the aluminum as I'm going in. This has a pretty steep angle uh, starting here, and I actually can't get that angle. So I'm, you know, I'm getting as good as I can, and I'm just going slow, doing it by hand, getting that, uh, getting that hole in there, providing some airflow, and hopefully just enabling that to dry out. The other thing I wanna say is that I've read in a few forums about guys putting in styrofoam in the bottom of the boat uh, because it's cheap and easy and available. 
and they say that they've never spilt fuel in their boat, so I don't know why they wouldn't do it. I don't remember ever spilling fuel in this boat, but I can tell you that this section and this section, all the foam in the bottom that's soaked about this much reeks like fuel. That fuel would have been it. I don't know when it got in there. Uh, it wasn't anytime soon. It could have been last year. That stuff doesn't really let go of the water and um, obviously the fuel either. It reeks. So I would highly recommend to not put in styrofoam, especially in the floor in the back, but probably anywhere because it will disintegrate on you. Um, those I think are all the tips that I wanted to go over. The chainsaw is great. Just don't touch the wall. Uh, Sawzall is handy. The handsaw is extremely, extremely valuable and uh this is well worth doing i think i'm probably shaving it, it looks small on the camera but that's quite a bit of foam and i still have foam in here and this garbage bag here is full of foam i mean it's not this one's not crazy heavy but uh, that's full of foam as well so i mean that's one garbage bag now you, maybe it's a bit better of an example of how much is coming out of there i haven't done this this is wet i pulled this plug off um put your finger in there it's wet i'm not going to cut those open yet i'm not confident in my uh fabbing ability quite yet so maybe if this turns out nice i may open these up and do something but uh for now they're staying they're staying as is um i feel like i wanted to mention one other thing but i forget what it is so the last thing i do want to say is you know I'm just putting this out so everybody has some tips and tricks if they decide to do it themselves. Um, and I kind of also want to point out, I didn't start the video with my big dumb face. I'm kind of sick of seeing all these videos, of guys, starting out with the camera excessively close to their face. It's a little ridiculous. Just show us what you're doing, get to the point, and get the video over with. Um, if anybody wants, I'll... I, I can tell you guys, <clears throat> this video is over. You can stop watching now if you want, but I'll go over what I did last year when I got the boat, since the camera's running. Uh, I installed some electrical into here. I bought this box on uh, Amazon and then just made this little electrical panel. Um, I got two batteries, a uh, switch there that uh, goes between between each battery this does the front light this does the interior lights this does another interior light and that does the rear lights um, I had a couple lights I installed them down here that was a dumb idea I'm gonna move this to here uh, and those just shoot out down the sides the front light shoots out the front got the winch there uh, it comes back to here the trolling motors hardwired back to here everything runs through my um conduit that i've placed along the side of the boat and it actually works pretty well if i did anything different if i cut this open i'd get the batteries back in there um so that the it's not as long of a run anyways that's pretty much it i think this is going to be a pretty sweet uh upgrade you know i could fit all my decoys in there i can fill, fit some totes i can uh fit a lot of stuff like it looks pretty good look at that space still got the foam still got flotation we're not going crazy it's just going to be a better a better boat when we're done okay see ya